That it's is... It's possible to block all the guests, though. It is, but... With my guys, it's gonna be a wipe. Alright. So that well, was the gist of x Um... Hmm. Sorry. Uh, that is the gist of x -Death. And I will now be fast-forwarding a bit more. This team at this level needs to rush him down. You can have an Aegis Shield on uh, Ferris and that can block it. You have a uh, 1 in 3 chance of having one party member survive and then be charged with recovering the rest of the group while still being bombarded by Ned. Yep, but power of time and space conquers all. Ru er, Krum, I've... I've done testing. Okay. That's really all I need now. So as I said before, this uh, this first phase isn't too hard to get through. It's a single target. All that chicanery. Um, all the 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 moves that he does are actually a lot more manageable, except for uh, white wind. White hole. White hole. Uh, yeah, White Wind's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he just heals himself for oh, 50, that was a good meter. Meter. 60 pass meter. Yeah, no big deal. We're actually going to throw some elixirs down on a few guys. Access was engulfed again. So now, on to the, uh, the crazier part. Alright. But that, that was perfect execution, more or less. Um, we were able to get in here without anybody getting hit. Um, there's just a couple of attacks he's going to do. Hopefully he goes for either Bartz or Ferris. They can take hits from like the physical abilities and what have you. Um, actually, just a second. Yeah, okay. Um, they can take hits from the physical abilities and still survive, whereas most of the other party members would get wrecked. Um... The nice thing, because everybody has time magic equipped, everybody has the big boost to their M to their uh, their magic, and can actually get a lot of the a lot of value out of the magic lamp. So it doesn't have to be a Krill that uses the attack spells or anything like that. All right, back part dead. Um, ooh, that was I stalled out there for a moment mentally. Um, Ferris, unlike everybody else, is mainly going to be throwing money. I've said that before. Um, we need Krill to release her dragon. And give herself an elixir. Get everything back up to speed. We really don't want anybody to drop below like a hundred MP for the uh, miscellaneous other party members. So like right here, uh, we're gonna have her cast meteor and then have her using elixir. Again, that fr front bottom—that's the piece that we want to see damage being dealt to. The other ones are all right, but. 
we can kill that front bottom piece first, we're pretty golden, because I believe that is the one that does have the gas. Which is always the attack that comes first. It's the bottom section. The, Demon um, Eye is single target. Right, Demon Eye is single target, so... Uh, what, what they're talking about is uh, Shout, Shout, from the the lamp can use a petrify move, which kills one of the pieces. See, there, that's perfect. Backing wave on Ferris, nobody dies. Jiggling has commenced. Get a... Doing that, though, relies on him randomly targeting the part that's actually vulnerable, and then it still has to interact with his magic evade and with spell accuracy. Yeah, it's not like spell evade work. is a very high level. It, there's, a, there's a very, very, very small chance of it working. Yeah. So we have hit critical territory at this point, although we are dealing a lot of damage to that bottom, bottom right piece. Yeah, you've been chewing through it. I think you got a shot here, man. 500. Yeah, not that much that time around. Yeah, let's stop like, having these mental farts when turns pop up of like, is this a real turn or is this a... Uh... Alright, unfortunately Ferris has to waste... Oh, that's the universe. Ferris is going to do more damage than one. Elena can use an elixir on Ferris. Money, money, come on, big money. Big money. Nothing. Oh, that's not in your favor, only 1800. Huh? An automatic 3600 damage to all three parts every round by Ferris is not bad. It's not yeah, bad. No, it's, that's pretty good. Though. Piece to die, though. It's, yeah. That's 15. That's 1000. Not the right piece. That's right piece. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, noise. maybe I forgot this. What does Krill have right now? What do you Time mean? and release. Oh, okay. And then I'm guessing Bart's also has Time, time and release. release. Oh, okay. During well, your testing, I suppose that you compared how well just flame lashing does versus dropping the meteors. Yeah, it doesn't. As far as expected values. Yeah, pretty much. Or I'm bad. What a miss. Uh, we're still at the final boss. Shake yep. a tree, dude. Got it. Uh, no, don't really look like a tree any. Quick math Shaky in my demon. head. Yeah, more like eight. It. One, two. He'll have enough to cast quick. Yeah, he'll have enough fight too. Wrong fucking piece. God damn it. Ah, yes, the part of the fight where you just lose to chance. Get there, get there, get there. It's a lot of damage you're doing to the back left part, though. Woo! We got a turn. A turn that has to be spent casting using one elixir, but a turn nonetheless. A turn that can first be used casting meteor. Got to optimize that and pay. A little damage. Ah, nothing. This is, this is the part where you're just like listening super closely, like, is the piece gonna die? Is the piece gonna die? Is the piece gonna die? Top. Top. Bottom. Hmm. Nope. Bottom. Bottom. No kills. Whew. <laughs> this is more... More hectic than I thought it would be. Yep. He has yet to alma guest you, right? Yep. So it's oh, we like have a death. Right now, right? Top. Okay, keep top going. Top piece is dead. 
top piece has 5,000 less health than the other two, so hopefully that means it's close. Still, this reduces the number of targets. This is very important. Yes. Yeah, you're probably gonna get this actually. No, no, don't don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Here goes Meteor. I'll jinx whatever I want. Bottom. 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 Kill confirmed. Good job. Well, it's kill on the bottom piece. It's not full kill. He's gonna get that. Oh, now you just need to finish the job before rage mode yeah, does it's, win. He's gonna kill you real. <laughs> you have to kill him now. I have two meters coming up. Yeah, don't worry about using like any kind of elixirs at this point. Just go whole whole ham. I think it takes him. Kill confirmed. To... That's it. Okay, good. I was gonna say I think it takes him a couple seconds to kick into hyper mode, so you have a little bit of time. Oh boy. The random yeah, chance of that, that, seconds. like, just, you know, it, it's going to hit a piece. Is it going to, like, stack damage on one piece, or is it just going to, like, spread it around a lot? Well, the damage was pretty spread there. I mean, it didn't take much from the top piece to the bottom piece to the top right. Like top I said, it, it really hinges on if somebody dies or not. Yeah. Expected values. Mm hmm And that bell curve to victory. Boy, though. Your second attempt, once once you got to New XF himself, not too bad, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. Did that in about an hour and a half. You beat all three bosses in about an hour and a half. Yeah, with yeah, a bit of time nice. dilation. For more frame of reference. Yeah, as long as you don't count the time that he spent grinding. And, uh... and it took him an hour and a half. Yeah. We're not going to fast forward during this, obviously, except if, unless there's nothing happening, because, you know, we earned this. No, no things no. happen. You are earned this. You... I would not have gotten through a lot of this if you guys weren't here. Nah, you'd been fine. Are you kidding? That thief start? <laughs> nah, you'd been fine. <laughs> Frankly, I was just here to make fun of you, so... Aren't we that all? wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> Time to go to the island shrine. Load state. <laughs> Time to fight Metal Sign, fight Metal Sign again. No. That actually would have been pretty great if you had a save state from, like, the wind shrine. And just press that and you're like, oh no! I did so actually. I did. I, I saved over that. I had the Metal Sign save waiting to drop into any other project that you do. Oh, this is auto. Final Fantasy V, out of order. So here's Melisign, the first boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like you're sitting there doing a live event to punch out, and then, oh, damn it. <laughs> Wrong button. Damn it, fucking Melisign. Damn it. Back in the pyramid. Um, There's no actual time fuckery in this game. That's the thing. It's a separation of nah, just... dimensions. Just dimension fuckery, you know. Yeah. Space. If, you've, if you know the plot of Tales of Symphonia, it's like that, effectively. Yeah, they stole it from this. Yeah, they did. Weird. Hmm. So did they just lose all their power after the game's done? Yeah. Well, much. for reasons. Maybe. There, there's actual reasons this is happening. Um, actual funny thing. So for Final Fantasy Record Keeper, I'm actually in a line chat with a bunch of uh, people who are pretty good at the game, and we like share strategies and what have you. Um, about half of them have never played five before, and I'm just like play five. <laughs> like every time they're like, <laughs> "Oh, what Final Fantasy stuff?" I'm play five. I don't know. I feel like playing tactics to play five. I just realized that this ending is basically like a Mario Party ending, where they're all shooting off into space, <laughs> and then fourth place comes up, third place, second place, and Bar Bart's got first. Yeah, it's the Fiesta. Yeah, Fiesta Party. That's you got the bonus Oh chance. god, I want to do Fiesta Party now. <laughs> no, that be no you don't. Hey, look at, look at this dungeon that we never went to. Yeah, what is that? The waterfall. It actually has the best boss in the game because you never fight it. 
<laughs> you go down there, and, you know, it's like the fourth one that you're supposed to go to. And, um, you go down there, and you pick up the ta tablet, and then the dude shows up behind you. He's like, booga, 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 I'm gonna fight you. And then Leviathan shows up out of nowhere and kills the fucker. What? <laughs> Yeah, and then Leviathan says, hey, fight me, and you can either A, fight Leviathan, or B, just leave. Look, he doesn't even say fight me, Leviathan's just there, and you can choose to fight him if you want, per, like, summoner traditions, or you can just walk away. Yeah, you don't need to talk to him, it's cool. So is this, like, setting up where the crystals are in another game or something like that? No, is it, that, that's the, it's um... It's just epilogue. That's, that's, that's World 3, that's Combined World. It is yeah. forming new crystals in the locations of where each tablet was. Yeah, what, what I'm thinking is like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Would there be another question. Final Fantasy game that takes place in a world that looks very different, but one of them's underneath a thing, one of them's behind a waterfall. You know. It's mostly just it's bringing It's New Game Plus. Yeah. So yeah. They stopped doing the four world crystals thing after this one, really. Yeah, they brought it back for nine, but yeah. Yeah, they, the rest of them would have some manner of, you know, important magic gems, but not as, like, the four pillars that hold up the world. I kind of wish they would bring That's that okay. back. It's okay, they brought it back for Bravely Default. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they brought it back for Bravely Default. And, and then they, they brought, brought it back, back for Bravely, Bravely Default. Default. Mm-hmm. The joke I there can't... is that Bravely Default's the same game three times over. I, I kind of want to see what Bravely Default 2 is like. I want to... second. I really want to play Bravely Default, but anytime anybody mentions, like, yeah, you have to play the game three times, I'm just like, uh. Here's the thing. Bravely Default is, at its core, a mediocre experience, and then they make you do it a couple times. That's not fun. I was like, oh, no, I like a lot of these things. It's A lot of things could very easily be implemented well, but the experience curve is just non-existent. Like... You go from chapter... You're in chapter 3, and everything's giving, like, 30 to 90 GP somewhere... Or JP, somewhere in there. And then you go to chapter 4, and, like, the bare minimum's, like, 400 JP or something like that. Oh. It, 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 like... They expect you to grind a lot of jobs out of that. Also, apparently, the, uh, the wishes of our dads created a third Wind Dragon. Yeah, no, it... it no, I, I think it brought the one that was in the void to you. There yeah. was one in the void. Oh, awesome. there was one in the void. That would make sense. So, an interesting thing that this game does that we don't see because if I had Wait, lost... no, the wind dragon's actually a Tomos. No, get away from it! <laughs> Is, um... We, we don't get to see because if I had lost any party members, I would lose that fight. Um... If anybody dies during the final boss, they don't get out of the void. They, they don't have the yeah. strength to escape the void. Yeah. It Wind makes Dragon for a much picks better up everybody ending. else. Yeah. And, uh, and they just pass out and fall into the depths. I, I, believe, I believe in the GBA version, they uh, they change it so then at the end of the epilogue ending, they come back through means. Yeah. But in the That's original... That's always the same. No, they always, they always do that. Oh, okay. But uh, the the that's at the end of the epilogue. That is the last scene of the epilogue. Until that point... The ending and stuff actually changes, mattering on who dies and who lives. Uh, yep. For instance, um, if uh, if Lena dies but Ferris lives, Ferris actually takes over Tycoon Castle. Yep, and she grows up and takes a bunch of responsibility that she's like prepared for, but uh, she doesn't want. If both of them live, then I believe it. I believe we're gonna see this soon. Ferris just leaves and Lena takes over, which. Honestly, it has me a little worried for, you know, the Great Kingdom of Tycoon, but maybe that's just me. This is National anyway. Poison Day. Everybody drinks poison <laughs> on this day. You guys want some hemlock? The darker Let's pick timeline some than the one where in the, the good ship SS Tycoon, under the administration of Captain Sardisia. Oh, boy. <sighs> So this is actually the first time I've ever beaten French game. Dragon signifies an admiralty court. National Feed a Dragon Day. You just go get some grass and you feed it to a dragon and it bites people's hands off, but whatever. Dragons are cool. I like them. What are you talking about? But no, yeah, this is actually the first time I've ever beaten the game. 
Congratulations. Yep. Yeah, congrats. I didn't realize that. I thought you beat him before. No, this is one of those PlayStation games where I got really far and really close to the end, and then my save got deleted, so I lost all, like, drive to play the game. I was actually in the void, I remember distinctly. But yeah, add that to the list of Final Fantasies I've been, which is like 1, 5, 10, 7, that's it, 12, 14. Yeah, I guess like. my list of beaten Final Fantasies is 1, 5, 6, one, five and 6 actually, now that I think about it, if you don't include like tactics or anything like that. Huh. I should probably play more Final Fantasy games. I also, yes. Final Fantasy games. Also, yes. I I can say I beat fourteen because I killed Bahamut. I, I, huh. I beat fourteen. Oh, uh huh. I haven't even beaten fourteen. Then you haven't beaten Savage. I mean, look, Savage is the Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> I I understand, but you just took out Omega and Shinryu. Clearly. Can take on Savage. Yeah, let me just bring a black mage in, have them break their Lilith rod, and then uh, they have to descend to the Lilith <laughs> rod in front of Savage, and then uh, we just all kind of stand there and don't pull the boss. Yeah, that's how you get through Foss. Then what do you do? Fuck. I would actually appreciate having a quick leak raid fantasy MMO. It only works if everyone does absolutely nothing, it stays on for the two hours. <laughs> Oh, I, like if was. anyone moves a single pixel, it all comes apart. There was the the boss in eleven that was like really super confusing and had this weird mechanic to it that everybody was fighting it for like eleven hours and then they gave up because at one point the boss healed itself for all of its HP. Yep. 11 sounds really bad. It, so the mechanic was, is, um, it had a thing that allowed it to use people's unused two-hour moves, which is more or less like your level 50 moves in, uh, FF14, so it's like, you know, your hollow ground, your benediction, and all that. So, uh, oh. what happened is it uses, like, they were fighting it for 11 hours, and then it uses benediction. And just heals itself for all its HP. Oh, that's sad. It's also incredibly mean. Also, yeah. good news. I just got a uh, I just got a Steam trading card for FF4, probably. Hey, congrats. <laughs> Yay. That has been running in the background this whole time. It's cool. You've met a good chunk of the cast already. Ah, uh, what a good game. Yep. yep. One of my favorite games. Uh, I think I was discussing with people in that line chat that the reason that I believe 5 to be the best Final Fantasy game, which people, like, a couple people were arguing, it was like, oh, but... And, of course, it's, like, it's a line chat for people playing a free-to-play Final Fantasy game that covers every Final Fantasy game. There are those people in there. You know? Uh -huh. Seven's so good. It's like okay, seven's all right. <laughs> Seven is all right. Seven is overrated. Yeah, that. I, I can't okay. wait to see what the remake of Seven is like because there is no way Square can make a game that people like. Uh, well, a, a short aside to that, they've actually stated that they are taking influence from Advent Children. Oh. So, yep, yep. So, yeah, don't, don't, do not make any rulings on it until it comes out, guys. Because I am excited. Anyway, um, so the one thing I have said to them is, let me put it this way: if you do it by Fiesta rules and only use four jobs, which can be a very fun experience, you could play that game at least twenty times and have a different experience each time. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best Final Fantasy games. Lottery playability. The story is mediocre at best. It's enjoyable because it doesn't take itself overly seriously. The story doesn't get in the way of the gameplay. Exactly. And then I. Hold on. What? Sorry, go on. 
Well, and my last point was, even though the story doesn't take itself very seriously, I go as far as to say it has the best death scene in the entire Final Fantasy series. Yeah. I would... So, my my argument for, for this game is that even though, like, all right, it doesn't take itself seriously, and the plot is eh, the plot they were going for was simple, and the execution was superb. It just averages out to being kind of eh. Like a, but it's a really well executed, very, very straightforward plot. And I, I can appreciate that more than other games like, let's say, 13, for example, where the plot is mildly convoluted and uh, not executed particularly well. Nope. Or, or like four, for example, where I, I feel like, my, in my opinion, and I guess we may see this. I don't think Force plots executed very well. No, it's not. Um, you have but to remember it was leaps and bounds ahead of the previous game yes. that came out in America. Anything. So I understand why people have nostalgia well, for it. It, it wasn't just leap, leaps. Like and, it. it was not just leaps and bounds behind games that came out in America. It was leaps and bounds behind games. Yeah, it just blew it. At the time when it came out, it blew everything else out of the water. Oh, fair enough. There, there were characters that had personalities that you like, you got attached to. And then, uh, lots of characters had their own story arcs that finished or got close enough to finishing that you're like, eh, close enough. <laughs> yeah. Bug up, kiddo. So this Let is the, uh... Ferris, Barts, don't you have, like, responsibilities? And aren't you royalty? And, uh, well, Bart oh, isn't royalty. Just go have fun? Okay. He's just, right. he's just half from another dimension. Just gonna hang around. Yeah, he has no roots. Not only is he homeless, he's oh. an immigrant. <laughs> <laughs> Damn anchor baby from space. <laughs> so this, this is the scene what? where... This is the scene where if uh, somebody had been left in the void, they would come back. Yeah, that's what one of those sparkles would have been. One of those sparkles would have been Lena. Yeah. <laughs> Lena's actually the only one I've ever seen die in the final fight whenever I've watched somebody's video. I don't actually oh, know yeah. how the, the plot changes for other characters. Yeah, but once she returns, how do you send her back? <laughs> wow. I mean, you just go to North Mountain and say, we're camping here. Uh-huh. The very first time I ever played this game, I beat the game with Ferris alive with, like, six health. Lena, go make us a salad. It, it no, you can have the whole thing. <laughs> took me a second. It took me a second. Go get some salad. Hey, we want to smoke some grass. Can you get some for us? Oh, poor Lena. See, see the thing good. is, if you smoke dragon grass, it actually gets rid of a lot of the toxins. It doesn't really work. You have to pick it up first, though. <laughs> no, no, just set the whole mountain on fire. Oh, yeah, that's a go. Oh, yeah, it'll go over real well. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, they're all freelancers now, and they want to go adventuring still? Yep. Yeah, they've all learned some sweet skills, remember? Yeah. Don't those come from the crystals, or... But if you master those remember, jobs... all of those abilities are things that people did. They're absorbing the spirits of heroes of the past. Other champions of the all of those all those things that people did are things that people just kind of learned by doing stuff the regular way. You could just go to school and become a wizard. I just want to point out: look at these fucking chocobo and dragon sprites that are used nowhere else in the game. Sweet mode <laughs> seven, bro. Yeah. What? Well why does oh, Krill get the this dragon? Is the GPA version. I'm pretty sure this was in the SNES version. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Super fast. Huh. And the answer to why Krill gets the dragon? Because. Alright, she's the good one. Sure. Hi, Krill. I want to see who was Your the most eyes are like. Her eyes are like twice the size of everyone else. <laughs> Also, she's okay, a child. Someone draw a real person with eyes that big. She's a child. She doesn't know not she, to stare at the camera. She gets the she dragon is, because her regular one didn't die. That's just the one for Bale. She is 14. 
child. I just love the idea. It's like they all get on their bounce. Crow gets on a dragon. She just looks down at Lena with just disgust. Like, you didn't take care of your dragon. Theoretically, in this timeline, her dragon's still alive. What? Chilling out on bird no timelines. Tower. Well, they didn't have the bird tower and convert it into the bird. Mm -hmm. I was believe, waiting uh, on bird tower. Ferris and Bart's tied for most learned. And then I'll probably take a screenshot of this. Also, this fucking like the end for here. There we go. That's it. It's the end of Fiesta. <laughs> Well Can, done, baby. Okay, either hold down spacebar or don't. Don't do the, like, <laughs> partially zoom thing, because that just may be ill looking at it. <laughs> Good. I've done my job. Uh, yeah, have you? Have you? That's it. Yes, is over. Okay. I'm going to hit Fiesta. this button here and end the recording. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching all the videos on YouTube. Thank you for coming to all the streams if you have. I had fun. Probably do this again next year. So long. Bye, I would everyone. hope so. Goodbye Take now. Take care, everybody.